In this question, we have to find all of these currents. This current, this current, this current. You can find the current in the 12 ohm resistor, I think. Let's check. Yes, find the current in the 12 ohm resistor. So let's see how we can go about that. Now, what are we going to do? What we will do is find the total of this, right? Find the total of, okay, there's no need to do that. You just find the total of this, add it to this, and it is now being parallel with this part. This part and this part are in parallel, right? So these ones are also another parallel, these ones are also another parallel. So let's see what we have now. So for these three guys that are in parallel, the total will be 1 over 1 over 12 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 4. So you add it to the 22 because they are in series. So we have 24. And let's store that 24. So shift store as A. Now let's do this also. The total will be 8 plus the 5 and 20 are in parallel, right? So you do 1 over 1 over 5 plus 1 over 20. So we have 12. So I will now do the total of these 12 and the previous answer that I got. So it will be 1 over 1 over 12 plus 1 over the previous answer. So it's 8. The total is 8. Then I'll add that 8 to this 1 plus 1, making 9. So 27 divided by 9 is 3. So that means that current coming out is actually 3 amperes this is 3 amperes 3 amperes is the current coming out of here now I now have to divide that current between these two resistors right between this combination of resistor and this combination of resistor that means I will use current divider right so I need to know this total and I need to know this total. Now, I think this total was, I stored it as A. This total, I didn't store it, but it's 12, right? So, I'm dividing my current between A, between this and this. The total of this is 12 ohms, right? But I don't know the total of this, it's just A. So, to get I2, I2 will just be what? The incoming current, which is 3, multiplied by the fraction of this 12 ohm. So 12 over 15, right? So this is 3 here, 1, 3, 15 is 5. 12 over 5 is what? 2.4 amperes. So that will be the current. So if 2.4 comes here out of 3, the left is 0.6. So I3 is what? 0.6 amperes. So you have 2.4 amperes for I2. I3 is 0.6 amperes. Let's check. I2 is 3 amperes. Now I didn't get 3 amperes. Now have I made a mistake somewhere? Let's check. Did I make mistake? Did I make mistake? Okay. What's the value of I1? I1. Let's check I1. I1 is 3 amperes. So we are correct with I1, right? So it's only I2 and I3 that I'm not correct. So how did I make mistake? So I'm having uh, 3 multiplied by, oh, I multiply 3 by, this is 12 ohms, right? I 
don't know this total. So the total was A. So that's where I made a mistake. So it's three times the total. I will do. I will use the twelve over the twelve plus their total, which is A. Uh, so that's one. So look at that. So this should be one ampere. One ampere. So remove one from three. You are left is what two ampere. So I two should be one ampere. I three should be two ampere. I two is one ampere. I three should be two amperes. So that is correct. So the value that you have, just or you just have to have um, eyes to look at it. That this is parallel. This is series connection. And you continue to get the answer. So it is very easy to do.